Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for this 20th day of August. And today's topic will be titled, God Remembers Your Prayers. Amen. He sure does. So that's why we should always go boldly to the throne of grace and to God's presence, and He will uh, hear us. He might not always answer our prayers the way that we desire Him to, but He is listening, and the uh, Holy Spirit is interceding for those prayers that uh, we might not know how to utter to Him. So He intercedes and is like, uh, is like, well, Lord, uh, God, Father, um, He prayed that, but uh, He really didn't mean it like that. This is how He meant it. So uh, this is how you need to answer it. Amen. And so then we tend to get bent out of shape because He's like, Lord, why didn't you answer mine that way? I'm like because you you didn't fully like understand what I was trying to do for you here. And I was trying to keep you out of trouble, so, <laughs> amen. So there's that. So let's make sure that when we're praying to him, we understand when he is answering prayers, that he might not always answer them the way we want him to. And he's doing what he needs to do and helping us along. Amen. So praise the Lord for that. And, uh, all right. So um, we'll start with today's scripture song. I would like to greet you first, as always, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And hope and pray that he's your Lord and Savior today. Amen. And so uh, we're going to do a classic scripture song from back in February. And this is uh, one of my favorite scripture songs. And there's many of them out there. I know that uh, I told um, everybody that I was going to do a special uh, broadcast where I do um, favorite scripture songs of others. So I still plan to do that. And uh, don't worry, I didn't forget about that. So uh, amen. So I'm just probably going to have to have you all... Give me your uh, favorites again so I can uh, write them down and, and do a special broadcast. Probably, I'm not sure if I'll do that on my um, on Facebook or if I'll do it on the, the, the podcast or whatever. But uh, that will get done here. Uh, Lord willing. Um, amen. So we're going to do the classic one from February. And this is from Psalm 42, verses 1 and 2. And the reason why I decided to do this one is because I was... Uh, scrolling through Facebook yesterday and saw a, um, a uh, passage that I really liked, um, the Psalm 42 passage, and I was like, oh, yeah, let's do that as a special, amen, special scripture song, so, amen, so we'll go back, and this is from February CD, and this is from the 8th day of February, and so press play, and we'll sing that one first, and then we'll do today's, amen, and then we'll try to do that again towards the end of the broadcast, so here we go. Hopefully. Psalms go. 42, 1 and 2. As, As the heart, heart panted, panted after, after the water brook, so panted, panted my soul after thee, O God. My, my soul thirsted for God, for the living God. God. When, when shall I come and appear before, before God? As the heart panted after the water brooks, water brooks. Water brooks as the heart panted after the water brooks, so panted my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? As the heart panted after the water brooks, water brooks. Water brooks as the heart and after the water brooks, so and my soul after thee. Oh. God. Amen. Good scripture song right there. Good passage. Alright, so we'll put that back there to the beginning and we'll do that. Oh, gotta go back to uh today's and this is today, August 20th, and today's scripture song will be from 1 Corinthians 14.33, amen, and so we'll play this one and sing along again with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. 1 Corinthians 14.33 For God is not the author of confusion, no he's not, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. That's right. For God's not the author of confusion, but of peace. But of peace. For God is not the author of confusion, 
but of peace. But of peace says no churches of the saints. There's no churches of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. But of peace. Amen. He sure is. So, if you're being confused uh, by First reading Corinthians God's 15. word, oh, sorry about that. All right, go back and put that there. And uh, amen. So do that. Let me try to find a spot for that there. All right. So now it's time to get into uh, today's topic. God remembers your prayers. Amen. And so he sure does. And again, like I was saying, he's not the author of confusion. So if you're being confused about something in God's word or somebody's trying to confuse you and twist you up, well, go to God's word and he'll clear it up for you. Amen. Because it's all cleared up in God's word. And as you study it more and uh, learn it, you'll understand it. Amen. So praise the Lord. And uh, amen. All right. So God remembers your prayers for this 20th day of August. And today's. Uh, passage is First Samuel one nineteen. It says, And they rose up in the morning early, and worshipped before the Lord, and returned, and came to their house to Ramah, and Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Amen. First Samuel one nineteen. And so I encourage you to read the whole entire uh, passage of First Samuel chapter 1 to understand what's going on there. Amen. And so today's author is R.G. That, I believe, is the initials for Rick Gravely. Amen. So Rick Gravely, pap uh, pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Rossville, Georgia. So let me read you what he wrote today on this topic of God answers, or excuse me, God remembers your, your prayers. All right. So he writes here, the closeness of this godly couple is seen both in their religion and in their relationship. So again, the closeness of this godly couple is seen both in their religion and um, yeah, religion and in their relationship. It is also interesting to note that their spiritual relationship with God is emphasized before their physical relationship with each other. Hmm, that's pretty good. So making sure that uh, our spiritual relationship with God is uh, put first before any physical re relationship that you have, whether it be husband and wife or a friend and friend, or family member and family member. So making sure we always have that uh, spiritual relationship with God first. Amen. And then everything um, flows from that. So praise the Lord. So let's take heed of that. All right, continuing on, it says, This is a great principle in the text, because any time a marriage is founded only on the flesh, it is headed for trouble. Oh, yeah, good advice there. So uh, amen. Make sure we take heed of that. So, again, uh, this is great a great principle in the text because any time a marriage is founded only on the flesh, it is headed for trouble. Elkanah and Hannah were not just one in their marital uh, relationship, but also in their walk with God. Yeah, because uh, if you just have that uh, physical relationship, but you have no walk with God, and you both aren't walking with the Lord, and having Him in the midst of your relationship, your marriage... It ain't going to work, so we can't let everything be off the flesh. Amen? Uh, yikes. All right. Uh, the result was that God heard Hannah's prayer. He remembered her and blessed her with a child. What a joy to know that if we put him first and seek his face, that even one's barrenness can be turned into a blessing. Hannah was uh, faithful in prayer, and the Lord was faithful to provide. Amen and hallelujah. Oftentimes we do, uh, excuse me, oftentimes we do without because we fail to pray about our burdens. Mm, so true. As the songwriter said about our friend Jesus, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. So making sure we carry everything to God in prayer. And then he writes here, Dear reader, make it a point to pray today. Spend time before the throne of God over the burdens that ail you. 
God will remember your request, even after you have forgotten it. Huh. So, good advice there. Making sure we uh, always take everything to God in prayer. And uh, he will uh, help us with those burdens and those things that ail us. Amen. So, praise the Lord. That's good advice there. And so, and especially if you're uh, married, uh, good advice about um, putting the Lord first and spiritual instead of just always uh, physical. Amen. So there you have it. All right, that is the end of the Baptist bread topic. Good advice, and uh, even for those of us that uh, aren't married, can take heed to that with other relationships that we have. So and amen. All right, so that is the Baptist bread, and now it's time to get into the boots on the ground devotional for today. And this is uh, uh, the twentieth, and today's topic is titled "The Legion of the United States." And this event takes place on August 20th, 1794. And this is from the song, the, the Boots on the Ground uh, devotional book, Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier by Randy Wells. And the passage here is Philippians 3.17 where it says, Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have uh, us for an example. Philippians 3.17 all right, so let's read this topic here on the Legion of the United States. It says, Following the Treaty of Paris, which officially ended the Revolutionary War, Great Britain refused to eva evacuate the Northwest Territory uh, to harass American colonists. The British maintained forts throughout the Ohio country and supported Indian attacks against the settlers. Washington's Continental Army had disbanded after the revolution, leaving the newly liberated colonies woefully unprepared for conflict. Hmm. The defeat of Major General Arthur S. Uh, Arthur St. Clair's ragtag assembly of American soldiers in 1791 at the hands of 1,500 Indian warriors convinced President Washington to act. Secretary of War Henry Knox had a clear vision for how the government should respond, copy the ancient Roman army. Knox had uh, been an admirer of the Roman legions, as was Washington's first inspector general, uh, Baron Fre Frederick uh, Wilhelm uh, von Steuben. Uh, together, Knox and Steuben uh, reorganized the U.S. Army as the Legion of the United States. From ancient Rome, they took logical structure and the power of adaptable, standardized units to form an effective combined army, or excuse me, combined arms army, uh, commanded by Mad Anthony Wayne. The newly formed U.S. Legion finally ended Indian incursions uh, into the Ohio country at the Battle of Fallen Timbers on 20 August. 1794. Following Wayne's death in 1796 and Washington's death in 1799, Congress dismantled the Legion and reorganized the troops into the 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th regiments of the U.S. Army. Thus, just like the Roman Legion, the U.S. Legion disappeared, never to be resurrected. Hmm. Many voices and personalities clamor for our emulation, right? Sure do. Uh, whether someone on social media, an athlete, a celebrity, or a mentor, uh, make sure the influences in your life sharpen you spiritually and are worthy of your emulation. Paul said, Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. 1 Corinthians 11.1 1. So, making sure we have the right influences. Amen. Those that are following the Lord, praise the Lord. All right. Good, good uh, little uh, history lesson there, and then a lesson on um, the type of people we should be um, listening to and following. Amen. So there you have it. All right, so that is the end of the topic there uh, from the boots on the ground. And put that aside, and now I'll go ahead and get into the hymn today. And grab this here. And today's hymn, uh, could not find an actual tune to it except for the sampling here so I will 
let you listen to the sampling and then see if I can try to sing along with it. If I'm able to, if not, I'll just read you the stanzas here. And this is titled, For Jehovah I Am Waiting. And this is a psalm, The Mercy of God. And this is by, uh, it says, by the uh, Saltier. And that was uh, 1912. And then we have Charlotte A.P. Uh, Barn Barnard, 1830 to 1869, composing as Clarabel and arranged by Anonymous. All right, so listen to the stand, the little instrumental here. seem too hard so I'll go ahead and try it so here we go <clears throat> from the depths do I invoke the O Jehovah give an ear to my voice be thou attentive and my supplication here If thou shouldst mark transgressions, who before thee, Lord, shall stand? But with thee there is forgiveness, that thy name may fear command. Amen. All right. For Jehovah, I am waiting, and my hope is in His Word. In His Word of promise given, yea, my soul waits for the Lord. Stanza 4. For the Lord my soul is waiting More than watchers in the night More than day for morning Watching, watching for the morning light Amen His real hope Thou in Jehovah, mercies great are found with him. He abounding in redemption, Israel will from sin redeem. Amen. That was a good hymn. Praise the Lord. All right, so that is the hymn. There is no story to this one, so I'll give you the references really quick and then we'll jump back into the scripture songs so looks like all of these are from psalm 130 so uh, stanza one we have psalm 130 verse one and then psalm 130 verse two stanza two we have psalm 130 verse three and psalm 130 verse four stanza five or no stanza three excuse me so that was stanza two sorry so stanza two was uh, 133 and then 134 and then stanza 3 is 130 uh, verse 5. And then stanza 4 is uh, Psalm 130 verse 6. And then stanza 5 is Psalm 130 verse 7. And Psalm 130 verse 8. Amen. So those are the references. And that is the end of today's hymn. And tomorrow's hymn will be titled At the King's Table. And this is uh, hymn 106 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Amen. So put the bookmarker back in here. And we'll close that up for right now. And I'll go ahead and get into some scripture song singing. And we'll go ahead and do yesterday's and then today's. And then we'll conclude with the classic scripture song from February. So here we go. Let's go back to yesterday's and do that one. Amen. Isaiah 12, 1 through 6. 
And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song, he also is become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation, and in that day ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted, sing to the Lord, for he hath done excellent things, this is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. That's right, amen. Go. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee. Thou wast angry with me, thine anger is turned away, and thou comfortest me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For me, the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. With joy shall ye draw water out, out, out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, Make mention that his name, that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One, the Holy One of Israel. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion. For great is the Holy One, the Holy One of Israel. In the midst of thee, in the midst of thee. Amen. Good scripture there. Good song. Amen. All right, now we'll sing today's. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Amen. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints, as in all churches of the saints. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, but of peace. Amen. All right. Stop that, and I'll go back to February and the classic scripture song, uh, scripture song from uh, back then. And uh, so let's see. That was from the eighth. And we'll press play here on the CD. And Psalms forty-two, up. one and two. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, Amen. so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth Praise for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? All right, here we go. As, As the, the heart, heart panteth after the, the water brooks, water brooks, 
Wanda Brooks has the heart and after the Wanda Brooks, so can't my soul after thee, O oh God. My soul searcheth for thirst and for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? That's the heart and after the Wanda Brooks. Says the heart and the water brooks, so and my soul like thee. Oh, Amen. All right, so praise the Lord. All right, Psalms 143. Sorry about that. All right, so sorry about that. I messed up a little bit on that uh, uh, song there on the last part. So, Amen. But good scripture there. And Psalm 42, 1 and 2. And so that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, as always, let me go ahead and give you uh, tomorrow's scripture song. And then the topics for tomorrow's Baptist bread and boots on the ground topics. So tomorrow will be the 21st Sunday. And we'll be singing 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51 through 52. And it says, Behold, I show you, or shew you, a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Amen. And that is when we get caught up in the rapture, if we don't uh, die beforehand, and the rapture happens before uh, we pass away uh, from death. So, amen. So if you're not saved, well, make sure you get saved so you can be part of that. And come up and be with Jesus with the rest of us that are saved and born again. Amen. So that's tomorrow's scripture song. 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52. And then tomorrow's Baptist bread topic will be titled, uh, Forgive Members Like This? Yes. So that's the question. Forgive members like this? And then you got a big yes with an exclamation point at the end of that question. And then we have the passage here from Numbers 12, 2. And then, so that's tomorrow's topic. Amen. So we'll find out about that tomorrow from the Baptist spread. And then the Boots on the Ground devotional will be titled Unshackled. And this takes place on August 21st, 1831. And the passage is from Galatians 5, verse 1. And speaking of the book of Galatians, Brother James will be starting a new series tomorrow. Amen. It's going to be through the book of Galatians. So, and uh, that'll be starting tomorrow, Lord willing. Amen. I believe he's on the way back, him and Sister Lillian, from their uh, little excursion in uh, um, Arizona and the Grand Canyon and all that stuff. So, amen. And pray for their trip back and his preaching tomorrow on that. Uh, Galatians. Amen. So, that's tomorrow's boots on the ground. And then tomorrow's him is going to be titled uh, at the king's table and this is hymns him 106 and the psalms and hymns and spiritual songs book so that will be tomorrow's hymn and then uh, that book can be found on the internet at melodypublications.com and then we got the scripture song book and cds available on brother dean and sister patty's website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com and you can order that book and CDs off of there. And I also has some scripture uh, scripture song card games. And then his latest prayer letter should be up there. And what's going on with them over there in uh, Port Kaituma. So pray for them. Amen. And you too can be a bold witness in your own backyard by going and telling somebody about Jesus Christ today. So, amen. All right. And then we got the Baptist Bread information. That's uh, www. BaptistBread.com or www.timgreenministries.org and that second one has other books and material on it that you can order. So, amen. And then finally we got the Boots on the Ground devotional book going through this also. So this is uh, Boots on the Ground Daily Devotions for the Christian Soldier by Randy Wells and that can be found on the internet or perhaps you can try to write to this address here or call this number if it's still in working order. And that's Striving Together Publications at 4020 East Lancaster Boulevard, Lancaster, California, 93535. And that's here in the USA if you're uh, listening from another uh, country. And their phone number is 
7748 and uh, I don't see a web address on here but uh, I'm not saying you can look it up through the internet or you can just order it uh, used book copy of it amen all right and also been doing uh, daily Proverbs readings so join me later for um, that um, Proverbs chapter 20 for this 20th day of August amen so check that uh, broadcast out and then also I've um, uh, been doing some reading um, through audiobooks and doing that podcast. So that's God's Messenger Lighthouse Podcast. Amen. And then to give you some other uh, um, resources, we got Brother Ed Worth's uh, um, YouTube channel and Facebook page at KJV Bible Scope. And he does Q&A every Monday night. So you can uh, listen to that and you can answer, uh, ask your own questions and he'll answer them in the order that they're received. So it might take a while for him to get to your question, but he will do so. So you can check that out on his uh um, broadcast there and then of course we got James uh, brother James Knox's uh, sermons on James Knox dot uh, org www James w Knox dot org and then the YouTube channel is James Knox sermons so check those out amen all right so and then also uh, brother uh, Tim Crotz he's got uh, his uh, radio broadcast amen and then uh, brother Rick Baker I see he's on here today you can check him out listen to him amen praise the Lord for brother Baker and Amen. So, praise the Lord for all brothers and sisters in Christ. And All right, so that's it for today. So, thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you. Until next time, amen. Bye-bye for now.